So today I wanted to talk about eggs, specifically your dragon eggs, but it can also apply to other animals. Um, whenever your bearded dragon has eggs, not all of them will be good. Some of them will be duds, so they'll look like squishy little jelly beans or they'll be infertile. So if you candle them, we can do like an example of like taking the egg. Let me, here's my phone. We can check an egg over here. All right. So obviously these are a good example of some really nice looking eggs. And then I will show you how to candle them. Uh, use the flashlight on your phone or any light source that does not give off any heat. You take it, and it works better in a dark room, but candle it. Oh, and you can see it's really full right now. You can actually see the baby in there. But see the veins? That's how you know that they're fertile. So even fr from first day, you'll be able to see some veins so you know that they'll be fertile. But even fertile eggs don't always hatch. Some deformities will happen. Sometimes they just don't develop. So stuff happens. Here's an example, because we're I wanted to show you. Here's an example of an egg that went bad. So you can see it's all icky, yellow, wet, and kind of smells. So what we'll do is we'll throw it away and take the trash out right afterwards. Those are leopard gecko eggs? These are leopard gecko eggs. So we have one that's at least for right now good. Hopefully it'll you know stay that way, but yeah. So this right here is F5. She's one of our fantastic breeders. She's been with us for about two, three years now, I believe. Um, she has been known in the past to lay very large clutches, uh, but not all of them pan out great. Uh, some of them are all bad, some of them are all good, uh, but for the most part, she actually averages out at about 30 eggs, which is on the high side for beer dragons. Usually, the average is about 20. So, let's check out her eggs. All right, so I've written it down right here. So, F5, what species, date laid. So, how many she did, did or, so how many she laid this time was 32 eggs. Well, half of them were actually bad, but here are the good ones. I wanted to show you as well on some of her eggs. She actually has an excess of calcium deposit, which isn't bad. So if your bearded dragon is gravid, whether or not it's been with a male, um, one way to tell is, well, F2 is about to explode, but you can actually see the individual eggs so but most of the time you can actually just kind of like very gently touch their bellies like come up underneath them like this and you can feel the eggs before they actually start showing but obviously she's probably gonna be laying in the next 48 hours don't worry if your bearded dragon stops eating that usually means that she's about ready to lay so get your box ready if she starts digging uh, that's a sign that she needs to be put in the lay box now she doesn't need to be putting it right now, but we'll just go ahead and give it to her. Sometimes it'll simulate her to get, stimulate her. <laughs> Sometimes if you put them in the lay box, it'll stimulate them to start uh, digging and laying. So uh, we'll go ahead and put her in because, I mean, she's about to explode. So, so this right here is our breeder box. It's just a regular old tote that you can get at like Walmart, Home Depot, whatever. But you can see it actually needs to be wetted down a little bit. But this is nothing but cocoa fiber. Uh, make sure it's nice and moist. So whenever you dig down, it holds shape just like this. So the bearded dragon can dig down and lay eggs. Plus, you always want to get a clear tote. And the reason why is because if they lay eggs up against the tote wall, you'll actually be able to see where the eggs are so you can dig them out. So. Go ahead and put F2 in. I'm actually going to stamp this down a little bit so it's not as loose. You want it to hold structure. And always make sure that you have at least six inches of soil for them to dig down in. Right. She's like, 
Hold on. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, she obviously doesn't want to dig right now, so we'll just go ahead and put her back. Yeah, we'll put her in later. Um, but you can see right here, she's actually been digging a little bit, so she's she's gonna be popping in the next... I, I wouldn't doubt she will lay eggs in the next 24 hours, actually. Maybe even today. 